there are some fast moving developments on the Senate Banking Committee's scheduled votes over President Biden's Federal Reserve nominees. Yahoo Finance's Brian Chung here now with the very latest. And Brian, it seems like they just don't have a quorum to to hold these votes yet. Yeah, Alexis, a very dramatic scene playing out in the Senate Banking Committee right now. Actually, it's still happening where uh, supposedly they were going to vote on the five nominees from the Biden administration for vacant seats at the Federal Reserve, including a second term for Fed vice or for Fed Chairman Jay Powell. Now, uh, the problem seems to be the uh, nominee for the Fed vice chair for supervision role, Sarah Bloom Raskin, who is a former Fed governor, by the way, confirmed by the Senate in 2010. Uh, apparently, Republicans have some concerns about her uh, previous writings about climate change, as well as her uh, dealings with Reserve Trust, a fintech company that uh, got a master account with the Fed. It's kind of an inside baseball way to get access to the Fed's payment rails. Uh, some GOP members have some questions about whether or not she leveraged her connections at the Fed to get that master account. Either way, the Republicans said they simply weren't ready to make the vote, which was supposed to happen in committee at 2.15 today. So the Republicans decided not to show up for the meeting. That means that they don't have a quorum and cannot advance any of these five candidates out of the committee. The Republicans had said, we were willing to compromise to allow the four other nominees, including Fed Chair Jay Powell, to go through a vote and they could hold Raskin. But Democrats said they didn't want the GOP to be able to pick and choose who they could delay and who they couldn't, which means that all five nominees will now be delayed. We don't know when another vote will happen. We don't know when a full Senate floor vote will happen. But there are a few wrinkles here, one of which I want to point out is that even if the Republicans were in committee today to make an advance on these five nominees, it likely wouldn't be able to go to a full floor Senate vote because of the fact that the Democratic senator from uh, New Mexico, who suffered a stroke a number of weeks ago, uh, still hasn't returned to the Senate and in a 50-50 Senate, they would have had to wait for him to return, which is supposed to happen in a few weeks to get that vote in anyway. So it's possible even if the GOP was present today, they still would not have been able to advance the Senate vote. A lot of inside baseball inside the D.C. Beltway issues here. But either way, the expectation for these five Fed nominees to get out of committee today, simply not going to happen. Guys. All right. Never a dull moment. Brian Chung, thanks for the update. I know you'll continue to follow it for us.